Good morning everybody. It's the morning, Friday of July, the 25th of July I think. Um, and I'm just about to set out on a, a day camp ride. I've set up my uh, bike packing bike, ready to take a trip, find a camp, a little place to camp and test all my gear. Well, it's a very nice day today. Well here we are on Bulls Ferry Bridge on my ride out to uh, Crow or in Crow direction and when I get there my plan is to have a day camp. I brought along all my backpacking bike packing gear and I'm going to check it out, check it all's okay, have some lunch, put it all back together and cycle back home. You know, about 70 kilometres ride. But it's a nice day for it. It certainly is. As you see, I'm on both Ferry Bridge. I'll turn you around and you'll see be able to see the M62 bridge over the River Ouse. There we go. There we go. I don't know if you can see it very well, but there we are, the River Rules on its way to the River Umber and further on into Umber Mouth and past all. On part of my ride, I'm going to be riding along the Ouse and then I turn slightly right and then I'll follow the River Trent to Keedby and then eventually into Crow. I'll put you down now. So well, here we are, Ghoul at the docks. A ship there called the Sarasis. Fairly empty docks these days. And there's another one at the other side of the bridge.
Oh, village of Adlington, Adlingfleet. Beautiful Norman church. Looks like it's in somebody's back garden. away from crossing into North Lincolnshire and the Isle of Axholm. Right, that's it. I'm now in Lincolnshire. Roads have changed. Very quiet roads along here today. Very quiet. I'm going to start looking for a spot to set up the camp. Let's see how we get on. <coughs> I just want to check everything's okay on a day ride. See how it feels with the weight of the camping gear on the bike. I'm riding my 29er today, the MT mountain bike. It rides very well. Very comfortable on these roads. Sorry about that. The uh, camera slipped down while I was talking. That's that. Yeah. It, actually, it makes quite a long distance, good long distance ride because it's very comfortable. Sure, I haven't got any drops, but comfort on these roads is really good and when you're sort of touring you're not really worried about speed it's where you go into the counts not how fast you get there and so far I'm doing quite well I've kept my heart rate down into zone one which I'm very pleased about I'm normally two, zone two or three if I'm on my road bike. Yeah. So it just goes to show, take it a bit easier and keep your heart rate down. Especially when you get a bit older like me. Yeah, I'm going to put you down now. Got a bit of traffic coming up here. Tractors with trailers. On my way to crawl now alongside the canal. Top of gravel, this. Lovely ride out this is. Nice bit of gravel. I've got it all to myself as well. That's great. Well, I stopped at Kiwi to have a break, got my pots out for a tea, 
my brewing kit, got it all set up, and then I found I'd left my gas bottle and stove in the other th in the other brewing kit in the car. So cold drinks, I'm afraid, with an apple and cold rice pudding for lunch. I'm all right. Yes, not bad. I'm going at a good rate, pace though, quite slow to my normal pace, but I am keeping my heart rate down. It stayed in zone 1 for 4 hours now, which is pretty good for me, it's usually gone up quite a lot, but yeah, that's good. Well, this is going to be good preparation for August because I'm going on a camping trip backpack bike packing trip doing the uh, Yorkshire Wolves cycle cycle route it's 250 odd kilometres altogether so I have one night's camp back camping split it into two trips it's quite early something like 2,000 meters of climbing in it altogether most of it's in the first day I'll bring you along for that one I think I'd start to put you down well that was indeed very lucky the curl catch fish and chip shop was open So I've got myself some chips and a bottle of water, which is coming handy. Up and just left Crow. I had a nice bag of chips. It's nice to see the wind has dropped a little bit on the way home as it's seen as it's a headwind This route will take me through the Crow Wastelands and also past uh, an old peat factory <coughs> Don't really expect to see any more traffic really now Roads have been pretty much like this. A very sunny day, warm. I tried to set my camp up, my tent up. I checked the selected spot beside the river trend, and the ground was rock hard. I couldn't get the pegs into the ground at all, and it was being limestone alongside the trend for vehicle, vehicles, but never mind. Pretty happy with the setup though, it's given me no problems, although I've lost a water bottle that was tied on the back uh, when I was riding down the gravel track. Vibrations must have just set it loose, but I didn't hear it go. Never mind, got a few more water bottles at home. concentration now uh, I think I go right and then left here yeah that's right I go past that looks like a chicken farm I think you'll notice in this area lots of wind turbines littered with them all over the place just goes to say how much we get wind in this area it's absolutely flat, no effort riding on flat until you get a headwind and then you notice it and it can be as hard as riding up a hill
Well, that's the end of this video for now. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. See you all later and stay safe.